Now this video again is based upon reports and this again focuses on calculation of reports and in particular it builds on using the, sum fun the summary options now I've generally just followed the path I did previously I've used my calculated query to build up the basis of a report not report, I've used the wrong thing report wizard Here's the three things we want to use. You can use them all. And let's go by grouping by equipment again. We want to sort this on this occasion by quantity. And we click on our summary options. Now your summary options lets you do a little bit of simple mathematics really you can sum you can average you can min you can max now what do you want to show on this occasion we want to show the sum of our total so we want to add up how much they've been well, add up all their totals really from their total income so when we did a multiplication you want to add them all together very simply all you do is click on total and then change it from detailed and summary don't change it, make sure detail and summary is actually ticked and we don't really need a percent or anything so we want these two boxes to be ticked then we click OK then next now again as we said we've got a variety of layouts and um, let's go with what we had before Call this one just so I can remember some function. And we'll preview a report. Now you'll see, yeah, you've got some information there, but it generally might not look as you expect, it may not look as attractive as it possibly could. This is where we have to do some editing and possibly change change some things around. So let's see what we have. I've got our, now this should be here, our price per item should definitely be there. Our total should be there, but there's something I miss. It's not as attractive as it could be because of this big bit here about summary equipment. So what we're going to do is edit our report. Go into the form view, or the, the uh, design view, and change it around. Now these things here, don't be afraid to delete those. They are just explaining what's happening but they're not really essential. Let's click in there and delete it. And let's go back to our report view. Um, it already looks a little bit better, but I've still got this word sum in there. Let's, uh, let's take that out. Also, we don't need that. And we've still got our figures there. But again, all we're really looking for is our grand total. So let's see if we can delete that one also. Then go back to our view and our report view. And we'll see we've got our items there. And at the bottom, we still have our grand total, which is great, which is what we wanted to do. But it's not in the same currency so it's not in the same format as it should be which is currency so you right click on here bring up your properties let's go to our format and let's make our format currency pounds and if you go back it should I've given some formatting to the bit at the bottom total excellent and it is all as it should be now you, now, you may on occasion have to change the width of this box depending upon the number, but that is all the information is there as it should be.